going to do a quick little, not full on review of this Lyson 8 and 9 frame box, but uh, more of just to show people that the 8 frame equipment will work with these. Um, it actually, the way this is rabbited here, it actually sits on there pretty nicely. So the front to back, pretty snug. Uh, side to side, if you push it all the way to one side, you will have a gap. But if you center it, it's it's not that far off. Um, and I guess that's how they get that extra frame in there. Eight frame usually has a bigger space than what I've seen in 10 frame boxes. And adding just a little bit more is what gets it to the nine frame size. But um, I really like the frame and bottom boards but I like the idea of the insulated boxes. And again, these are 1.6 inches thick. Um, so I have an inner cover here just to kind of show you how a box would fit on this. Um, again, it's gonna line up to the, to the rabbit and it'll line up on the edge here. Dropped on here. So again, there's a little extra space on the sides. There's no gaps. And on the front and the back, it lines up almost perfectly. So, um, and even if you wanted to, you could put another box. So if there was a wooden box in the middle, by chance, you could throw another license box on top of that. And again, they drop in there. You just kind of got to get them a little bit squared up. So there's no gap. And that's going to work pretty, pretty nicely. Uh, so I guess the, the concern with some of the instructions is that since you have wood sitting on plastic, um, that it could slide. And that's why they suggest you potentially strapping this down. That makes total sense. Um, I don't, I can see that if you put something on top, because if you put it on top, it's just gonna be sitting on plastic. But if you set this on top of something wood, it really locks it in because this rests inside the rabbit at the bottom of the box. There's no room for wiggle. So far, I like the boxes. I've got one full hive. Uh, the reason I went with the Lysen hive is because it has a integrated pest management bottom board that actually is a tray. So you can put um, diametaceous earth or potentially um, vegetable oil in there. Um, I did paint mine. Uh, just, in, just to, I'm not sure how the vegetable oil is going to do with the paint in there or with the styrofoam. So... I may just use diametaceous earth in that, but I wanted to see how these fit. So again, I have one full hive that's a double deep, and then I also bought two more deep boxes just to see how it'll work with my wooden equipment. Um, I'm gonna take one full license setup through the winter with hive sensors, and then I think I'm gonna try to get another hive um, with wooden equipment on the bottom, two deeps, and then I'll probably uh, just have wooden equipment on the top too. I may have to have some sort of spacer. I'll probably have my insulation on top. So, and then I can put my, my lid on top of that. Um, th this will be the thermal point. So if there's any cold weather, cold, it'll get into here. So maybe figuring out how to put a spacer in here of insulation. I could probably keep that uh, condensation point minimized. But I'll, uh, I'll, look, I'll go show you the top and the bottom. It's in, I have that in a different place. And I'll be back in just a moment. This is the Lyson bottom board. I just have it sitting on top of that right now, but it has the same thing. It has the rabbit, and then the front of the box obviously spans across here. If you buy the kit, you get the mouse guard. It's a mouse guard, but you can also slide this out and close it entirely. And then this vent allows you to uh, move it, like a transportation screen there. And so this is the this is the re main reason I got this hive. So the floor actually this this slopes out, but the rest of this slopes into this collection tray. Um, I think some other ones have a chloroplast. The Hive IQ ones have a chloroplast bottom. I really wish they had some sort of tray or a way to make a tray. But I may consider getting one of those hives as well, just to see how they compare, or you can see if they, they work together. I mean, because if I can get this base and then a different uh, upper part, that would be nice. Uh, the 
these hives are much this kit the essential the basic kit which is just the empty boxes with the base and the lid um, I think I paid 169 but you do have to pay for shipping on that and here's our little tray again it has sides so you can potentially put some oil or diametaceous earth something so you can do uh, mite counts but also hopefully deal with uh, small high beetles which is my always my biggest concern and then this is the lid um, I should say that all of the boxes the you, the deep boxes have these plugs and I just put them in and painted them but you can pop these out and they actually have vents vented plugs that go in here I don't foresee needing that on anything but maybe on the upper boxes there's two on this side and two on the other side not the upper box but the top but I don't know you know the condensing hive has a lot of merit to it I'll say this this insulation is very hard I mean if you stuck your fingernail and shoved it in there it's gonna leave a mark but uh, so it's a little more fragile but it's it's very very dense so, look at that I just pushed on it really hard and dented it so. This is all plastic here. This is all plastic along here so you can strap your hive without pressing into the uh, insulation like I did there. So, a little concerned about longevity of these, but uh, that's another thing about Hive IQ. The, the top has, uh, the last ones I saw were metal on top. They may be plastic now, but uh, it has this all the way across the top. So, um, the thing that, about the license is it does have this recess. I think uh, Jim at Vino Farms pointed out, you know, how much R value you're losing. This is actually an inch thick in the thinnest part. So there's there's still more than a traditional hive in insulation than there is even in the wood. Um, the screws are on the front face. I ended up putting silicone over those and then painting over those. Um, the Hive IQ has them in the top and they're like covered up. So you, you don't even see that. But there's a lot of area here that could have been insulated that they didn't. Um, it's not fun painting around these all these letters if you're hand painting this um, instead of spraying. But I think a lot of the the paint on the plastic probably won't hold up for very long. But again, I'm going to try this, see how it does. I'm going to compare this full license setup to a just the boxes on some wooden frames and or wooden wear bottom board. And then I'm also going to try my woodenware with my homemade um, insulation just to do a comparison. Um, the folks at Hive Hugger mentioned that in Tennessee they had good results over the winters. They used less honey and we saw the same thing but they said that they didn't see as much of an advantage in the summertime and my thoughts on that were it's probably because they may have wooden boxes above the Hive Hugger and a lot of your heat's coming out the top so um, I, I would think this would probably keep the brood chamber at a more constant temperature but as soon as I put wooden supers on here that could compromise how easy it is to maintain that. Those are just my initial thoughts. I'm going to try to run this through. Um, I am going to put the full hive. Um, I'm going to replace one of the ones that has all the sensors so I can compare it and I'm probably going to use the lightest weight hive um, just to just to give it the best shot of getting through. I think uh, all the, the lightest hive I've ever had was 125 pounds that made it through. Um, and I have one right now, it's 120 pounds. So we'll keep an eye on that. Sometime in October, sometimes we get a little bit of uh, some sort of flow. It's not very big, but it should be enough to give them enough weight to get through. But the other thing with this is uh, we're gonna have two additional frames. So. We'll have, we have 16 frames and this is going to have 18 frames so I'll be able to pull two more frames and probably get uh, if it's honey it's going to be almost 10 20 more pounds on the hive in this box so anyways, that's the plan sorry I'm kind of in my shed my shed's not very big but I'm just trying to show everything and see how it fits together <laughs> 